News at the top tonight, there's backlash against some Santa Maria ISD administrators following my exclusive report last night at 10 about the cutout controversy. A freshman suspended last week accused of damaging the reputations of district personnel portrayed in a shoebox size fake courtroom setting for a class project. The majority of people on ValleyCentral.com, Twitter and our station Facebook page called the punishment an injustice. It even got reaction from others across the state. Check this out. In this email sent to Superintendent Maria Chavez and CC to me. Esmeralda from Dallas writes in part, I am disgusted by what I read. Don't you all promote creativity? If an adult is going to be offended by a school project that you all gave her, then the issue is deeper than a simple project. You all are hiding something, she says. Well, tonight and for the first time, the superintendent is speaking out, not on camera, but Maria Chavez shares exactly why the decision was made to suspend and who really felt harassed in this cutout controversy. Lucera Tovar is no longer enrolled in the Santa Maria ISD. Her family opted to pull the freshman out of the district rather than face a suspension they called unjust. She explained what happened in this exclusive interview on Tuesday. The principal just looks at me and she's like, um, you know why you're in here, in here, right? I was like, no. She's like, you're harassing people. And I was like, huh? Like, I mean, for me, I was like, what? It centered around this project. Lucero's criminal justice class had to replicate a courtroom setting on a miniature size scale. The lawyer, the judge. She says the teacher gave no other instructions, but when the 14 year old used photos of the superintendent and some board members' faces printed from the district's website to depict fake characters, she was suspended by the high school principal. She just told me that I was harassing, that she could, she's going to suspend me for four days. We obtained this copy of the suspension notice. It reveals Lucero violated the school's code of conduct. The violation? It reads, quote, damaging innuendo message on class project to another's reputation, district personnel, end quote. Superintendent Maria Chavez didn't want to talk to us on Tuesday despite multiple attempts to reach out, and she didn't want to appear on camera today. But she did tell me over the telephone that she felt personally bullied by her depiction in the project and found the rationale behind it politically motivated, distasteful, and a complete deviation from the requirements. Superintendent Chavez is portrayed by Lucero as a fake defendant in an orange jumpsuit. And while she found it distasteful, she admits no other board members whose faces are featured as well complained to her about harassment or a damaged reputation. So I asked her for a copy of the rules that she says were given to students beforehand. I was told they'd be faxed to me here at the station. So far, I've received nothing. The superintendent also says Lucero's work caused a disruption to the high school class and to her two other partners who weren't aware that the faces of district personnel would be added to the project. Lucero says the suspension was linked to harassment, not a so-called rule violation, and she's the one who feels bullied. Lucero now enrolled in the Laferia ISD. Board member Aldolfo Idahosa says he's very alarmed with the allegations, and he told me just about two hours ago that he plans to investigate what's unfolded. I'll have documents linked to the suspension posted online with tonight's story for you to see for yourself. There you can also watch the initial report from last night on ValleyCentral.com. And thousands are clicking on this story and chatting with me about it. As always, if you have a story idea you want me to tackle, it's real easy to get a hold of me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search Ryan Wolf.